Hi, I'm Leah. And I'm Emily. And we're from leahgriffith.com, which is a beautiful craft site where we teach you how to make your own crafts. So Halloween has always been our favorite time of year. Definitely one of mine when I was growing up. I know we always did a lot of decorating outside and you made all my Halloween costumes growing up. Yes, that was so much fun. So here at Leah Griffith, we wanted to share with you guys our 30 favorite tips of not only doing Halloween outside, but bringing it into the, your home. I made notes on my phone so I would cover everything today. So here we go. The first tip is to think outside that black and orange color scheme. There are so many beautiful color combinations that you can come up with to give that really spooky feeling. One of my favorite tips is to make these gorgeous oversized black wallflowers because they are a showstopper and you guys can find the video. There's a link for it where you can learn how to make this from start to finish. The next one is to always decorate your mantle. I love to add white into my Halloween decor and the perfect place for this is with white pumpkins. Next up, you can make some moths with vellum paper and put them on your light fixtures. Because moths are drawn to light. Mm -hmm. A really fun project is to make a Halloween pillow and you can do this easily with a cutting machine and heat transfer vinyl. Add a bespoke craft or artwork into your scene like this embroidery that I did. This is beautiful. And one of my favorite tips, you know how you decorate with hats in your house? Decorate with a witch hat. These witch hats aren't just made to put on top of your head. You can also create a monochromatic burgundy bouquet for your entry or your breakfast snack. And these are all made with paper flowers. That means they'll last forever. You can also add an unexpected touch to your linen. These black paper spiders are so fun and elegant. And these are also easy to make. I love this oxblood red. I think it's a perfect addition to any table. If you're having a party, you can set up an apothecary drink station. You can also consider this white and green color palette. I think it's really spooky. Of course, adding a little touch of yellow and white with this cloched mushroom set. And the thing about these mushrooms, they're made out of honeycomb paper and crepe paper, and they're designed from poisonous mushrooms. Ooh. You can carry these moths through all of your decor, like with this little wreath or on the cloche mushrooms. And of course, you can add some fun labels to your bottles. These were labels we designed I don't know, eight years ago, and they're still some of our favorites. Mm -hmm. So not everyone has a mantle or even a large space. You might live in an apartment, but most likely you will have a bookcase. And I think a bookcase is a perfect place to add a little Halloween decor. I agree. I love this idea of making small scenes on every shelf. One of the things that I like to do is add a color on the back of the bookshelves to make it pop a bit more. And you can do this seasonally. Just go to your craft store and find some craft paper to add to the back. It's a great idea. I also love these vintage books. I think that they look so beautifully either turned backwards or even open as a backdrop. When I'm decorating the bookshelves, especially when you were young, I wanted to set up something that would surprise and delight you mm. and make it, you know, kind of fun for kids. These peg dolls are perfect for kids. You can decorate with spooky plants. Or add a dried twig to your decor. Anything a little bit natural, I think adds some quality. Mm -hmm. Especially when you hang ghost spiders off of them. And these little ghost spiders are so fun for the little ones to make. They're really easy mm -hmm. too. One of our favorite projects on our site are the white lanterns for Christmas that are in the shape of houses. So we decided to make them in black for Halloween and add some spooky trees and these are all made out of paper. Whether it's fall or Halloween, I think felt pumpkins are a must have. So I've created a pile of pumpkins and then tucked in a little owl stuffy. <laughs> I know I want a pumpkin patch in my house. Or on your bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> on this shelf, we've made it into a treat shelf. And these cute little witch hats are boxes to hide some treats. Once you know they're there, uh-oh. I know. <laughs> For me, it means that it's probably empty. <laughs> and if you're trying to give out candy, I love this toadstool bag. It's not only adorable, but it's also functional. So there you are, 30 tips and ideas of how to decorate inside. The sky's the limit. And we have links to all of these DIY projects below. I know this has me really excited for Halloween, so let's get crafting. Mm -hmm.